Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty Ish Kristen. Today, we are going to have ourselves a little whip and chatty rant. What is a whip and chatty rant? You may be asking yourself. Whip, W I P, stands for work in progress. And a chatty rant is me chatting and ranting about the goings on in my life over the past week or so. Today, my whip is the last supper this is from the artist mariella rinaldi and it is from art and soul diamonds i have not finished a ton on this yet because i have been focusing on the cheer bear with stars kit also from art and soul diamonds and i finished it so here's a little picture editing magic of what it looks like i am hoping to film a kidding down maybe sometime next week. I don't know. We'll see you guys. It's May. <laughs> uh, it looks amazing. Uh, super cute. Uh, top, top favorite kits. Like seriously, just amazing all around. We will go into that more when I do that. Uh, but for now, today we are working on this. I did get my new release papers from Bee's Crafty Corner. I'm trying to pull out my stack of papers um yeah just got a few uh so some of my choices were i have the care bears with the star holographic pattern super cute i got some glossy pippies not holographic fantastic i got some holographic pippies because obviously she needs to be sparkly I got some kitties. They are hunting for butterflies. He's got a little net. He's got a little thing of butterflies. I got some kawaii strawberries. Super cute. I think this one was called spiral. I don't remember. I was just going with what I thought was cute. And then some of my OG custom pippy papers. Now they do come in these kind of like plastic bags, but, um, I have cats, so I actually ordered, I think, a pack of 10 or 20 of these little envelope things from Amazon. And so I put all my release papers and stuff like that in these, and it works really great. And as you can see, that whole stack fat, fat, that whole fat, fat, whole stack fit in there very nicely. So a little tip. And I have like a bunch of the supplies that I use or like in the description box. Um, I try to list them and then I do have like a section for just Amazon FYI. Uh, so I have my release papers all over. I'm using my galactic alien putty favorite cannot diamond paint without it. Pippi sticker. I have, um, the tray from the pen minder tray set from KNS custom pens. Uh, that is listed down below. I have a pen from Jim's handmade pen shop on etsy this is a this is an amazon pen this plate was mine as a child and my newest addition to the tray family oh look i have some alien putty stuck to the bottom of it uh the ephemera 3d tray i don't remember what this one is called um but i think there's only two tray options so there's one that's a totem that one's like super complicated and um i've seen it used this is more my speed and it's really cool because the, you can't see it cause it's so freaking bright, but it has like the spout kind of curves a little bit. So if you're shaking your drills, they don't just all fly out of the spout. So nice feature. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. And before we zoom in and then we can talk more and all that jazz, <gasps> I finished Pippi. Oh, you can see my overhead lights. It is super dark outside right now. Uh, I finished my Pippi from joe over at meow and forever i will list that in the description box for his facebook page he is currently still in the testing phase uh, but when he is ready to be making his diamond paintings and canvases and he's got like all these things planned like makes me tired just thinking about it so let me zoom in and i need to put some drills on this canvas be right back all right we are back I'm going to attempt to place some of these ABs 
it may not go well. And then we may just travel over yonder because, uh, you know, I'm not the best at putting these down and talking at the same time. So we're going to see what transpires. Okay. So in my, oh, in my AB pen, already not working. I have a really, 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 really old blue dot. And so, oh, you can't see what I'm doing, but I tend to, if it's not sticking, I kind of just like cut at it to just bring a fresh little section up to the surface. Same with the tip. And of course I have the autofocus on, so it's not focusing on the things I actually want it to focus on. Awesome. Okay. There we go. Yay. Diamonds down. It has been, it has been a while since I actually put anything down on this canvas. I was focusing so much on the Care Bear kit because I wanted to get it done and have one less whip in the rotation. So now I am just down. Hello, Sharky. I am down to the the Pam Diamond painting. Um, I have not even attempted to work on that because of the acrylic drills just not fitting nicely. And I just, I don't have the brain power to try to figure that out, to try to order new diamonds or to ask people for new diamonds. I don't know what to do about it. So it is just hanging on the back of my door <laughs> and it is just fine there right now. So technically I have that as a whip finished cheer bear. I finished Pippi. Um, and then I have this and I have the two conversions. So that's, that's not that bad. <laughs> I finished a coaster this weekend. Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> I've had the same coasters kitted up since Christmas time. I was like, I should do a coaster. Let's get those coasters done. <laughs> and it was nice to have a quick little finish by, yeah. It was, it, it was good. It was good. Let's see. Okay. So, let's get you. So we got everything. Ugh, everything looks yellow to me. It's our overhead lights, but I can't really do anything about it. And if I turn them off, then I will be having to put my face up against the canvas to see what the heck I'm doing. Um, hello, Duncan. Could you not steal my pencil? Thank you. Hello. Yep. He's just going to sit right on the edge of my canvas. Let's see. Let me look at my little list because I do not trust my brain. So we got the new, got the new doors put in. So I will put a picture of the old front door to jog your memory. So ding picture of the old front door and it's extra extra yellow glass and then a picture of the new front door uh, it is it is a very heavy door i was shocked at how much force it actually took to close the door i was like oh my gosh uh, so that's that's interesting um, and then we got a new back door. So I will put a picture up of the old, the old door. And I did love the old door. It just, it was, the glass was thin. The wood would swell and shrink and, you know, just was not a good thing when you're, you know, not trying to heat the outdoors or air condition the outdoors. So and then here's the new door. It is a kind of dark gray color and I feel like the windows are bigger. It lets in a lot more light than the old door did. So those are our new doors. That was a, that was a process, man. I'll tell you. I do not like having people in and out of my house. Not just that. I mean, just for like, I mean, I didn't feel unsafe with the people here. The, the, the two guys that were here were very, they're very, you know, kind and respectful and everything. It's just, you hear your front door open and close and 
you know, cats are freaking out. And then we have the landscaping going at the same time, because even though I said in my last video, I told them, yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. The, the lady in charge is like, oh no, they're used to working around other people. And, you know, it would be really great if we could do it, if you can get it done, you know, earlier. And I'm like, well, it would be nice to get it done early because we had a little skanky patch of grass that they were going to tear up and put down new, um, new dirt and then put down grass seed. So I thought, well, yeah, it might be better to have the, the grass seed, you know, put down sooner rather than later. So it has more time to grow before, you know, the full summer sun kicks in. So I was like, okay, if, you know, you know, they need to make sure they're, you know, being courteous to the door people because, you know, we paid a lot of money for doors. So they were technically scheduled first. So the door people got here and the landscaping people were not here yet. So they got started and, you know, it's just chaos because they're basically taking your doors off and they're using saws to cut old, you know, gross trim and just all the noises. So then all the, the landscaping people come in there, you know, driving their truck in the backyard to dump stuff behind the barn and it just... So we have, you know, ring cameras. And so every time, you know, somebody walks in front of the camera or triggers a sensor, it's going off. And so I kept, I kept silencing it, but it kept, you know, coming back on. So I was, uh, I was done by the time everybody was done with their stuff to be not hearing that thing go off every five minutes because, oh, I don't know how people have alerts on their phone for for like email or, you know, tech. I mean, I get text messages, but I don't have any other alerts on my phone besides the, the security stuff. I don't have, you know, Facebook messages or Instagram. I don't have any of that because that just makes me feel so anxious to have things constantly beeping at me. Uh, I did that. So I will put a, a few pictures up of like a befores and after. So here's a before of well, I, I, I can't remember what pictures I took. So uh, let's just say this is the uh, gravel area that they had to kind of bulldoze and scrape and all that. So this is the, the before, and it is a mess. It is a big old mess. And then the after with it looking all nice and tidy. Okay, that is done. I'm going to pull this down. Nobody look just so it's closer to me so I can actually reach it. And then this is kind of like front walkway area, I guess you would say. Um, so here's a before. And I'm saying here's a before, like I'm gonna remember to edit. So <laughs> if you're watching this and I'm not putting pictures on, <laughs> then you know I just got lazy. And then here is an after. We had a lot of grass in the flower beds. It's very, very, very aggressive grass. And no matter what we did, we could not, we could not get it out. And so we needed professional help because, you know, we're only, we're only two people. And um, I don't want to spend all my free time outside in the yard. That sounds awful. I do not have the gift of gardening. I want it to look nice. I just, I don't want to do it. Let's see. And so here's my little uh succulent planter area that was kind of the before and that didn't look too bad i do try to keep that relatively tidy so there's the after um i really hope these are going on straight i cannot tell <laughs> based on the angle i'm looking at them all right and I'll just throw up a few pictures if I think there's any other areas that I took a picture of that I don't remember. So yeah, that is done. They did have to come back for a third day, even though she was sure they would get it done in two days. Spoiler alert, no. It was very warm, so I do not blame them for not, you know, wanting to get heat stroke and all that jazz, but... It's like, yeah, no, I know this is a giant job, so. All right, get some more. So I am really liking this tray, and it is so bright, I don't put it down and lose it. Um, 
because it's neon yellow. I think it's actually called like highlighter, highlighter yellow or highlighter green or just, just highlighter. I, I don't know for sure. That was, I ordered it maybe a week ago, so I can't remember that far. Nope, I cannot get over there. What else? Oh yes, yeah, so last week was the week of the week of three days of busyness. Well, every day was busy, but so Friday was our anniversary. We didn't really get to do anything. We knew that though. Uh, with him, my husband starting a new job and stuff, it just was not. It was not feasible to try to schedule something like to go somewhere or do something. Uh, so even though our marriage is 21 years old, uh, no Vegas. <laughs> We do not want to go to Vegas. We're good. Uh, we've been there a few times. And then when you, you don't really drink and you don't really want to spend money and gamble and you don't like heat, it kind of takes away some of the, <laughs> the main draws. <laughs> That's okay, though. Uh, so we didn't really do anything on Friday because, you know, obviously we had door people here. We had landscaping people here. The cats were very pissed off that people were in their personal space. Um, and then on Friday, uh, I took our daughter to go get her ears pierced for her birthday, which was the next day. Uh, that was, that was interesting. <laughs> I can see why some places will have two people, uh, piercing ears and they'll do them at the same time. Because if you have a, a child who, um, freaks out after the first ear piercing, <laughs> Then they don't want to do the second one. It's like, uh, no, sorry, you need to get the second one. You will regret it. Just do it all now. It's like, no, no. I'm like, come on, dude. We got this. You got this. Like, no, no. It hurt because the lady kind of, you know, I, I'm sure if you've been doing that for any long, any length of time, you kind of learn what to do and how to, you know, maneuver and you know do it without them knowing or you know kind of sneak attacking it yeah well uh, my daughter did not like the fact that she did not warn her she was going to do it she just kind of went with one of the things and they don't even look like the ear piercing guns anymore they kind of look like a i don't know like a plastic box and so i was like oh well that's good it doesn't look like a gun at least because before they kind of looked like um those uh clothing tag guns that they use for you know putting like a tag back on a, a shirt after you return it or something that's what it that's what it always reminded me of so that was kind of sad because it just looked like this little square box uh, but she was not happy with that and so she's like it hurts and i'm like well yeah they're shoving something through your ear it's going to hurt but it won't hurt for that long and the lady's like, you know, if I put this, you know, solution on your ears, then it won't, you know, it'll help take away some of the sting, but I have to do both ears first. And she's like, well, no, you need to put it on now. And she's like, nope, I got to do the other ear. And I was like, oh my goodness. I, I honestly didn't think it was going to happen. I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to go home with one, one stitch earring in her ear. <laughs> and I'm going to have to spend $69 for one freaking ear piercing. Cause it says to get you in there. Right. And it's like, Oh, free ear piercing with the purchase of the starter set. And you're like, sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, the starter set is $69. So is the ear piercing really free? I don't think it is. <laughs> but finally, finally, after a hug from a stuffed animal and you know, the reassurance that she was going to get to shop <laughs> after the ear piercing, uh, and I told her, cause she's like, I need to, I need to be distracted. And I said, well, let me sing to you. And she said, no. And I said, yeah, I'll sing for you. And that'll distract you. So I started singing, um, some Backstreet Boys, you know, you are my fire. She's like, she's like, you need to stop singing. And I was like, I can't stop singing. She's like, just do the ear piercing. I'll do the ear piercing if you stop singing, which I felt was kind of rude, honestly, because my singing is not that bad. Granted, I was kind of gesturing with my hands and you know I was really it's really putting my heart and soul into it but she let the lady do it and it was over and done 
put the stuff on. She's like, oh yeah, that does feel better. Let's see. So, and then of course, you know, we had to shop and my mom had sent me with a card and some money so she could spend her birthday money, you know, like, so instead of my mom just buying her a bunch, you know, well, I would be the one going out and picking it out. So she gave her a card with some money in it so she could pick out some stuff at Claire's that she wanted. And so she's looking at the earrings and we, they were guiding us to the, you know, sensitive earring section, you know, the ones that you should probably wear if you have sensitive skin or, uh, you, know, you just got your ears pierced and, you know, if you don't know, you can wear like, you know, the cheap crappy earrings. You should probably try these for a little bit. Uh, so we're, she's looking at those and I'm like, well, let's just get, you know, a few pairs. And then she's like, wait a minute, do these come out of my money from grandma? I was like, no, they do not. She was happy with that, that she did not have to use her money on these earrings. And I'm like, I, I totally get it though. Cause I remember, you know, getting money and having my mom take me somewhere and I'd be like, well, I'm not spending that much. I'm not spending that my money on that. <laughs> yeah. When it's your money, you're suddenly cautious with it. Right. Uh, so she got, I think, I think I ended up getting scammed out of four pairs of earrings in the, you know, the sensitive earrings, obviously. So, and then she had $60 to spend. Well, everything she wants is $30 because the, uh, the Lilo and Stitch squishimals and the, the Pusheen squishimals and all that. Well, they're all in their third, they're all around $30 because they're, you know, a licensed character and they're not on sale. I'm like, if you get that, that stitch plush, that is $35 out of your $60. She's like, oh, wow. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> it's not cheap. So, so I think it took us, oh my gosh, probably, we were probably there an hour <laughs> with her debating, walking around the store, going back and forth between this item, and that item. <laughs> Finally, I was like, you have three minutes. I want to be out of this store. It is 6 p.m. I am hungry. Um, I'm tired. <laughs> and it's just, it's a little overstimulating and loud at this point. So we got our stuff, but holy moly. That was, uh, it was, it was intense. I honestly didn't know if she would actually finish going through with the ear piercing, but she did. Well, and of course, so she gets these, these earrings, right? Because back when I was, you know, getting my ears pierced, they only had, you know, balls or, you know, like little studs, right? They didn't have anything cool. You could get, you know, your birthstone or, you know, a gold, a gold ball or a silver ball or something like that. Well, they had these, they had Hello Kitty and they had Lilo and Stitch or not Lilo, but just, just Stitch, but you know what I mean? The, you know, the Stitch. Well, I kind of didn't think about this <laughs> because, you know, it's been a while since I have it ear, ears pierced. Uh, but the stitch earrings kind of are, are big and bulky and I mean, they're flat, but they're, they're long because he's got those big, you know, ears and whatnot. Uh, that was not the best choice for earrings. I'm going to stop trying to do those because I can barely reach them from where I'm sitting. Uh, so probably not the best earrings, but you know, us females, we, we suffer for what we want, right? She's happy. She went with what she got, but I was concerned. <laughs> I really didn't know if she was going to fully go through with it. Okay. That is that. Which... No, wait, hang on. Let me find A. Okay. There's A. There's two colors in this, this one right here. So I'll pull it down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, so that was so that was our Friday. And then on Saturday, her actual birthday, um, my mom came upstairs right before eight o'clock and her eye was all like goopy and nasty looking and she said it was really hurting. And she had just had pink eye and we were like, oh no. So my husband took her to the urgent care and my daughter and I had planned to go to the um, ladies' tea at church, 
and you know it's supposed to be kind of like a little a little tea where they have you know tea coffee and then uh, little you know sandwiches and pastries and all that stuff now and i'm not throwing shade at the event i don't think i fully understood what it was and i know that my daughter did not fully understand what it was <laughs> so we get there and it was her birthday so i said do you want to go yes or no and she said she wanted to go because she wanted to eat a bunch of pastries and i'm like okay uh, so do i so perfect yeah no so they had like they had pastries right but i've never actually been to a like a real tea or a fancy tea uh, so there were you know some some pastry things but it was just just was not what we expected i don't think like the little sandwiches were just kind of uh, the pastries were kind of uh, and so yeah she's like this is not what i thought it was going to be and i'm like yeah i know but you know let's just you know be polite talk to people at our table so and then they started and then i gotta oh sorry i'm bumping things but i literally have to see what that symbol is okay then they started with um some music and you know it was at church and so it was kind of like instrumentally like just a guitar and some people singing uh but not what she wanted to do on her birthday <laughs> so kind of sitting there and they're singing and she's just like i mean looking so bored and she was not the only kid there there were other kids there and i was looking around and all the kids were like checking out right and i'm like oh my goodness she's like can we go and i was like i don't think we should um and then you know some you know two ladies got up and they started talking and i kind of quickly realized this was not going to be <laughs> i'm like mm, yeah we should probably go i mean it wasn't like they were saying anything bad but it was definitely not aimed at a younger demographic and i'm like i don't i'm not going to make her sit here on her birthday and listen to people talk about um the strong women in their lives that they've you know had experiences with and watch you know videos of people talking about the different you know strong women in their life which if it had just been me i would have sat there but it's like you know it's her birthday i'm not <laughs> not gonna make her sit there so we left <laughs> I'm like oh we have to go her allergies are really you know acting up i was like just you know sniff a few times and you know yeah so we bounced and it was totally fine <laughs> so then we went to we went for a kind of a late lunch early dinner at a restaurant of her choosing and the restaurant is kind of in the mall which always scares me a little because our mall is extra crimey maybe that's every mall but there's always things like, oh yeah, there's lots of gang activity at the mall. So not exactly where I want to bring my family, you know, just saying. But we went because that's where she wanted to go. And it was very, very, very loud in the restaurant. I mean, it, you know, restaurants a lot of times don't have good insulation or not insulation, but you know what I mean? Like the sound, sound noise canceling things because they have the open ceilings and everything's open and it was just really loud. Uh, so we we went and we took too long to order because there was a giant birthday party next to us. And then there was a soccer team. And uh, yeah, it was not the quickest. <laughs> but everybody got their food. Everybody liked their food. My stomach was a little upset from the tea. I don't know if I ate something that just, you know, not used to eating or what, but I did not really eat a lot of my food. So, and then she was, they have what they call a, a pazuki. So it's like a, you know, like a warm, you know, flat baked cookie, you know, topped with ice cream. Well, she wanted, you know, one flavor and she did not want the, um, the mini size that you get for your birthday. So she wanted a full size pazuki. And I was like, you're not going to be able to eat that. And she's like, yes, I will. I'm like, okay. And then of course my son was like, well, I want this flavor pazuki. Well, they didn't have that one in a mini size, so he had to get a full size one. And my husband's like, well, I want a pizuki. I'm like, oh, God, dude. So they all got full size pizukis. I did not get one because my stomach hurt. And I kind of figured, you know, there would be some left over. <laughs> Somebody wouldn't eat their whole pizuki. And I was right. 
Um, but yeah, so my son ate half of his. And after that, he's like, uh, he had like a giant burger and a giant fry and like two things of cream soda. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I didn't want you to order a full size bazooki because <laughs> I knew you would not be able to eat it. So I got some of his and I had a few bites of my husband's and I did not have any of my daughter's because she had the like the brownie one and that's just like eh, a little too chocolatey for me. I mean, I like chocolate, but for some reason, like chocolate brownie or double chocolate things are just not really my jam. Um, so she ate almost hers, which I was like, please don't get sick. She's like, I could probably eat more. And I told her that that was not necessary. Please don't eat more if you think you're going to get sick. So we did that. She wanted to come home, play Minecraft, play some board games, watch a movie with, you know, lots of snacks. And that, that was that. So, you know, lots of, lots of stuff. And then Sunday morning, I was like, I don't, I don't want anybody to cook me breakfast or anything. I was like, I just, I just want to sleep in. <laughs> That's my goal is to sleep in. Um, so that was my, that was my plan. So I, I woke up kind of, and my husband got up and, and then he came back upstairs like 20 minutes later. And he's like, you know, do you want me to go get donuts or a cinnamon roll? Cause there's a place, we have a donut shop just down the road and they have these really big cinnamon rolls. And I'm like, yeah, I guess so. You know? So he did that and he came home and, and then he came back upstairs and he's like, where's the double-sided tape? And I'm like, what? Because we had to take the, what do you call it? The security sensors off when they did the doors. And he needed like, you know, double-sided tape to put them back up. Well, he couldn't find any. So I had to help him with that. And I'm like, oh, fine, I'll get up. Because <laughs> it was like, no, nope, you're still sleeping in. Moms don't get to sleep in. <laughs> I should know that. <laughs> okay, I'm sliding over a little bit because I got to. All right. Do, do, do. Okay. I'm just going to peel this one up. Oh my gosh, look at all that color blocking. Well, at least that won't take too much brain power. So, oh, I almost just spilled those. So, so yeah, not much sleeping in. And that's okay. And I do need to take off these nails because they're hideous. I called them demented clown nails. So I told my husband, cause he, he picked out the last nails I had. And so we were sitting there on, what day was it? Sunday, Saturday, I can't remember. And, and I said, yeah, I said, I need to change my nails. And so he's like, I'll, I'll pick another one. So he picked these and in my defense, when I purchased them, the picture made them look like more pastel colored on the swirls, but they are definitely more primary. So they're giving me clown jester vibes and I don't like it. So they need to go. Plus I have a, a jagged spot on my nail that I can feel because I had to replant some, some plants and that was not kind to my hands. Let's see. Ugh. Yes. So so Mother's Day we had uh, he took the kids over to his mom and dad's house a little bit early so they could visit with them. And I had to go get my mom's eye drops because of the whole, you know, potential pink eye situation. But the weird thing was, okay, that, you know, she woke up and it was, you know, horrible pain. They were red and itchy and watery. And maybe three hours later, without any medicine, her eyes looked fine. And she said, they're not, you know, they're not itchy. They're not red or they don't, they don't hurt. They don't anything, you know, but we were like, well, let's still go get the medicine. Just, you know, just in case. Um, and so my husband went to the store after, uh, after we got back from the restaurant and I checked with my mom and I said, well, they haven't sent you a text message yet saying that your prescription's ready. And he's like, I'll just go because it's probably ready. 
it was not ready. So they went to the urgent care at, what was it, 8 a.m.? And they got home at, before 9. And he went to the pharmacy at 3.30, and they still had not filled it. And he said they told him that it would be another two hours. I was like, what? That's a long time, right? Um, and they said, you know, we're just, we're really busy. We're short staffed, you know, and that's just, that's our, that's literally our pharmacy. He's like, fine, you know, we'll just come back tomorrow, I guess. So he buying a few things at the store. He gets in the car and I had been downstairs talking to my mom because she lives with me. If you're new, hello, welcome. <laughs> Sorry. And, uh, she gets a text message on her iPad. And I look at it and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. It was Safeway Pharmacy saying that her prescription was ready. So I called my husband and I was like, are you still at the store? And he goes, not really. And I said, well, her prescription's ready. He's like, what? They just told me two hours. And I was like, I, it's ready. He's like, I'm literally driving away. I was like, don't worry about it. It's fine. Cause I could tell he was a little pissed off. <laughs> So I went and got that for her <laughs> on Sunday and her eye was a little like it was a little red looking on Sunday morning but not like it didn't look goopy or anything but so she decided not to come with us over to my husband's parents house for Mother's Day dinner just in case she did have the pink eye she didn't want to get anyone you know infected so I went and got her uh, prescription and then I got her some some sushi since she was missing out on dinner so she got she got a quiet day <laughs> at the house with no one to bug her and she came up and visited with the cats and played games on her iPad and had them na la la lap nap on her lap <laughs> uh, but yeah so that was that was Mother's Day and birthdays and anniversaries. <laughs> so we actually went out. I think I just put that in the wrong one. That's fine. We actually went out for our uh, an belated anniversary breakfast <laughs> this morning. <laughs> you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter when you do it, as long as you're doing something. So we go up a, a place that's ah, maybe 20 minutes away that we like to go to. They have the best muffins. Oh my gosh. They have these cinnamon muffins. They are massive and delicious. I could just go for the cinnamon muffin. Probably not the healthiest choice, but I mean, you yeah. know. All right. Not Mr. Yu. I still have, I do have dryer sheets in these. I haven't really experienced any static. Uh, but I would like to keep it that way. I really did forget about how much color blocking was on this canvas. Because while the, the Care Bear one, I mean, there's definitely confetti on that bad boy. Uh, it made it look amazing, so it's fine. It's just, you kind of, <laughs> you forget what it's like to... To have a section where it's only a few colors versus a lot of colors but sometimes you need the color block or you need the what do you call it the confetti otherwise it's just gonna look you know kind of kind of flat if i mean if that's what the picture is going for like this picture it's supposed to look you know what's the word i'm looking for i can't think of it you know, it's supposed to be more of a simplistic image. Like it's bold colors, you know, simple shapes. But something like, a, like the other one, yeah, it, it needs to have all those colors to give it the, the definition and all that stuff. Okay, where is this one? There is this color right here. Ooh, pretty teal. Um, hello, Duncan. I need a beverage sip. We're having Dr. Pepper Zero Cherry today. When we were at Fred Meyer, I did check to see if they had the 
the creamy coconut dr pepper and they only had it in regular they did not have any of the zero sugar so the next time i see it i'm gonna have to be a little a little more aggressive and buy several boxes because <laughs> it's going to be one of those things that you just can't find it all of a sudden right because it does say it's a limited time offer flavor whatever you call it um duncan could you not sit right next to me because your breast smells like cat food and it's kind of gross excuse me hi hello could you move thank you Ugh, gross uh yeah so we had we had a very monday monday <laughs> uh it was a little it's a little crazy it's like one of those days where you know you wake up and things all like immediately just kind of start like not going how they're supposed to go that was that was monday because the problem was sunday night you know we get home from my in-laws house and both kids need to shower right well because both my kids like to take long hot showers that doesn't work we try to spread showers out but because we didn't get home until you know like 6 30 or something there wasn't really time for the water to regenerate so one kid got shower and then it was like well i guess somebody has to shower in the morning which is always a dicey thing because the shower takes too long and we only have one bathroom upstairs so then if somebody else needs to get ready and the person's in the shower and it's all steamy it just yeah it's a mess and we try to avoid that if at all possible but we couldn't um, so that started and then my daughter went i think it's pajama today day today and i'm like what pajama day uh communication is not the best and so she's like well i can't remember so we finally figured it out it was not pajama day it was board game day i was like those are two very 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 different kinds of days you know uh i was like i really don't want to send one of the board games i care about to school with you uh, because not everything that gets sent to school gets brought home from school so we just we just part we foregoed board game day let's see what else and then like two people called me i'm like why are people calling me on a monday morning this is weird so and then oh and then my mom had to have a a phone call with her financial person and her financial person i guess she's having surgery and so she's trying to wrap up loose ends and, and deal with some things before she has to have surgery and she's out of, out of commission for you know a month or so uh, and so she's like you know she emailed me the day before and said hey can we you know do a phone kind of oh there's a hole in that one get out of there you know can we do a phone you know meeting and i'm like i guess you know but i don't talk finances at 9 a.m like my brain is not fully awake but we did that was it was a lot of numbers and information and stuff so by the time we were done it was 10 30 which is way later than we normally go to the grocery store normally we go to the grocery store at 9 30. Um, but i thought well hey that might actually work out in our favor because most times when we go to the grocery store on monday the shelves are not really fully restocked yet like, there's usually the milk is completely decimated you know there's no little mini powdered donuts for her or you know just whatever and i was like well this might work out nope <laughs> shelves were still still empty we don't buy milk in the giant gallon sizes i mean especially for my mom and her little tiny refrigerator there's no way and even the half gallon sizes are too big for her uh, so we normally try to buy the quart size but they don't really have the court very often and she likes whole milk so again they never have the whole milk in the court and then sometimes they have these like little individual self you know like single serving sizes but again they don't always have those and especially on monday morning so that was kind of a 
that was kind of a poo nugget right there but it's like all right fine there were a few other things that were like that as well i'm like okay fine and so we're leaving safeway and there's a starbucks right in the in the store how convenient right and they had there was like a sign for it's like a i don't remember what it said like macadamia nut something cold brew mocha something and she never wants iced coffee ever and she's like oh that sounds good and i said well do you want to try you know do you want to try one of the cold brews and she's like yeah and so we go up to the little counter and the the girl is sitting there at the you know the desk and i said you know yeah you know she wants to try the whatever cold brew and she's like oh our cold brew is not working right now and i'm like well that just figures <laughs> the one time the one time in like four years that my mom might want to try something new I'm like this is why my mom doesn't like starbucks because they got rid of all of the the flavored syrups that she liked because she used to like the she would just get like a white chocolate raspberry mocha and but they always they always get rid of the things she likes so I'm like this is why she doesn't like this place so we didn't get her cold brew and then i was trying to pay with the starbucks app and this is pr probably the the third time this has happened to me every time i try to use that stupid app it logs me out and says i need to log back in but then it errors on me so i can't actually use the app to get the points on the overpriced drink and treat whatever that i'm being forced to buy so i was trying it and I was like forget this i'm done like no i said there's been too much kerfuffling already i'm done <laughs> just just use my credit card and then of course you know we're standing there and then i get it to work i'm like that figures that figures because i could have earned some maybe reward points on the you know eight dollar milkshake that i got her instead but no 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 it's fine it's like that just figures get out of there a little trashy trashy butt yeah let's see go down there oh my goodness that was a little tight right there wasn't it <clears throat> okay let's see any other things that i forgot Oh, so I saw several, I saw an article about it, and then uh, Mushy at Diamond, Dark and Creepy Diamond Painting did mention that they actually tried it, which, ooh, but apparently in the, I don't know where in the South, um, are you guys okay down there? Because apparently people put pickles in their Dr. Pepper, and I just don't know about that. I do not know. It seems kind of gross. But I am also the kind of person who only likes dill pickles. So I don't know. I just, I did not, I have not tried it because I do not want to waste a Dr. Pepper in this economy. Uh, and I wouldn't even know what kind of pickles. Like, if they're getting, if people are getting dr pepper and pickles from a fast food restaurant then that's like like sandwich pickles i don't even know i don't even know but mm, no i am not going to be wasting a can of dr pepper on that so if you have tried it what did you think and why did you try it like was it a dare or something because Making that nice little poppy poppy sound. Oh, and I cleaned off my desk. I like to try to clean off my desk every time I finish a painting because I like to gather up all the the loose the loose random drills and I put them in my little trash container, even if they're not technically the drills for that 
cute kit, whatever. I just, I still put them in my little trash thing. I always find treasure. Or candy wrappers. Mm, let's see. Let's do, oh, there's two. Okay. Oh my gosh. There's twos and J's mixed together. Let's do the J. Oh, I could tell that was 550. I could just tell. Some colors you can just, you just know. You just know that what color they are based on their appearance. Oh, my depth perception is totally off right now with the angle and the light reflection. That's why I'm such a messy diamond painter. It's not my fault. It's the angles. Yep. I'm sticking with that. I don't think I ordered any, any canvases this week. That's, that's good news, right? I do have a different tray coming from, I can't even remember the name of the store. I cannot remember. Is that a J? Yes, that is a J. And working on some other things. I feel like I probably should have spring cleaned when it was raining and stuff outside because now I feel like I should be going outside to do things. And now the inside of the house is overwhelming me. But I don't know if that's also just my brain trying to stall tactic from having to go outside and do manual labor. Probably is. Because there's a lot of stuff outside that needs to kind of be picked up and cleaned and put away and prepped and all that jazz. And I have to go buy plants because we have a lot of areas in our yard and some of the garden beds that um, the landscape designer guru lady kind of said, you know, you should, you should fill those in because the weeds and the grass and stuff will take over the, the bare spaces, which, which makes sense. So now I need to go buy some, some things that will cover, cover the ground and cover the, um, the clean areas that they just made because uh, I don't want to spend money on cleaning up an area only to have you know the weeds kind of take it back over that's eh, not good that doesn't seem like a good way to keep respending money <laughs> so hopefully we can got it under control and then maybe we're we're competent enough to keep it under control right that's the goal <laughs> I hope so. I don't want it to look, you know, like we've abandoned our house when people drive by when it's really just the fact that we can't keep the grass out of the flower beds and stuff. So now that it's all gone, we need to make sure it stays gone. Seems simple enough, right? I don't know. We don't have good track records with gardening. You know, some people are just naturally gifted at it. And then there are people like me who, eh, like I have my, I have my succulents. I love my succulents and I can keep those alive pretty decently. I mean, I've done, done well with those, uh, but those are very low maintenance. And if I, you know, forget to water them in the summertime, for a day or two, they're not going to die. It's the, it's the high needs plants and bushes and flowers that, uh, I can't deal with. <laughs> it's like, I have to water you every day, maybe even twice a day. Yeah, no, sorry, but you're just going up to, to heaven with Jesus right now. Cause you going to be dying. There's one missing right there. Ow. I 
I, I can't, I can't turn my camera, but does anyone else's cat like lay face down sometimes? First, I thought maybe there was something wrong with him, uh, but I think he's just, I think he's just kind of weird. <laughs> he's laying face down in the window. I don't know if the, the light is too bright for him, but he wants to lay there or he's just too lazy to get up. But yeah, he's a weird one, that dunkalunk. Okay, there is that. Mr. Oh, did I put that in the wrong spot? Probably. Yep. I did. It's interesting because there's a lot of the same symbols as the Cheer Bear canvas because, you know, same company, uh, but totally different colors. <laughs> so I keep thinking that arrow is not that color, but that's, that's a different canvas. Silly me, silly me. We did get a rhododendron plant today from Fred Meyer. Uh, we went there after breakfast and uh, I just, I don't, I don't like Fred Meyer. I wish I did, but I just, I cannot, I don't know. It's weird. I always think, oh yeah, that's a good deal. Wow. These, I had to buy some new planters, right? Cause I have some indoor cactuses. And the planters were kind of, mm, they weren't really fitting on the windowsill nicely. And so I was like, okay, I had to replant things because the dirt was getting low. And I broke a few of my planters. And so we went to Fred Meyer because we needed a few things. And so I'm looking at the planters and they're like the little ones. And I'm like, oh, that's a good deal. They're 40% off. Well, but they, they were like $15. So, I mean, that's not, I discovered it when I went up there. I'm like, that's not that great of a deal. If that tiny, oh my gosh, I'm moving this all over the place. That tiny little planter was $15? Like, yeesh, 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 yeesh. Um, just the way the store is laid out just confuses me to no end. It's like the food is kind of in the middle. And then all the other non-foody items are around it. Uh, but even like when, every time I go there, there's so many people working in the store and restocking the shelves, which is good. You know, we need stuff on the shelves, but they have so many of those uh, like rolly carts just full to the brim with, with, you know, materials that are going on the shelves that, you can't even get down some of the shelves or not the shelves aisles <laughs> yeah they're in the aisles the rolly carts are in the aisles there we go that's what i'm trying to say oh i don't like that because then i'm like i can't like i just i just need to get down this aisle for for one little thing and it's like nope nope sorry lady you can't it's very sad it's very sad so, but I did. Okay, is that? Okay, that is confusing. So this C and this symbol <laughs> are right next to each other on the canvas. Don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> that is very confusing. So that means I actually have to pay attention. Hello, craftyish husband. Say hello. Nobody can hear you. I know, but your your voice is so low and muttery, and I'm disappointed in you that nobody can hear you. It's okay. It's all right. I was just talking about Fred Meyer. That is what I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so is there anything left on my list that I forgot to talk about? I got the that, I got the that, I got the that. So I did, I do have some um, canvases. I have the round canvases from uh, Joe that I did just do a kit up video for. That's probably next week, realistically. Uh, that that will go up so I can work on the round ones. And those are a little more portable, which is kind of nice. So I can work on them, not at my easel and not at the dining room table. So I want to maybe, I want to really try to focus on this one before I get the urge to kit something else up. The deer canvas won't be until June. So if I could get a good portion of, of this one done, then I wouldn't feel so bad about opening something else, working on it. Maybe I should focus on the crossage conversions. I don't know. Uh, I just worry with those that they take a little bit more brain power and I, then I have to, you know, make sure that I have enough time to finish an entire section because once you put some diamonds down, you know, I can't leave the plastic cover on it. So I have to have the release papers and it's just, it's a little bit harder. So it does take a little bit more brain power and a little bit more planning. And with May being busy and all that jazz, I just don't know if my brain is going to be able to brain as much as the brain would need to brain. How much brain can a brain brain if a brain needs to brain a brain? And I did not mention that the Pippi release papers, I will have a link in the box again below and a link to the Pippi sticker and a link to my Facebook group and a link to all the other things that get linked. Um, that is about it. About it. I'm a Canadian. I don't think I can pull off the about. I'd like to, but I don't think I can. So I think I am going to call that good for today. I got, I got some done uh, and some is better than none. So that is going to be it guys. I need to probably put some clothes away or something. I don't even know. I kind of didn't even look at my to-do list. I was like, I know I need a few things. I'm going to do them. And that will be that. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, hearting, farting, doing all the things. And I will see you guys again very, very soon. Big awkward hugs. Bye guys.